All right, so what we're going to do now is briefly look at PHP 7 and all the features that we'll be talking about throughout the course. All right, so before we do that, let's talk about PHP 6. All right, so PHP 6 had started being talked about way back in 2005, 2006. And there were a lot of issues and uh, a lot of things that backfired. Uh, most of all was Unicode support. So that made it really hard for developers to uh, use PHP and required a ton of work. So all code needed to be converted into UTF-16, all input needed to be converted, and people eventually stopped contributing. All right, so finally they just decided to scrap PHP 6, and there was actually a huge debate on what PHP 7 should be called, if it, would, if it should be called 6 uh, or 7. And they eventually went with 7 because PHP 6 had already been established as uh, the version with the Unicode support and all the other baggage that came with it. All right, so now it goes right from PHP version 5 to 7. All right, so just wanted to, to get that out there in case you were wondering what happened to PHP 6. And there's a lot of articles and a lot of information online too. So PHP 7 versions, 7.00 was released on December 3rd of 2015. 701 was December 17th, 2015. Version 702 was January 7th, 703 February 4th, and then 704, which is the latest version to date uh, at, in March of 2016. All right, so in this course, we'll be working with 704. So let's take a look at some of the performance improvements. And we are going to have a section dedicated to some of this stuff. But really quick, we have the Zend Engine 3, which has some improvements and uh, is now able to handle 64-bit integers on Windows. All right, Zen en Engine 3 also includes PHP NG or PHP Next Generation, which is a huge upgrade and actually double, at the very least, doubles the, the performance from PHP 5 to PHP 7. All right, and we'll talk about that more later. Um, this also allows us to optimize memory, use less amounts of memory. You can actually run the same code now on half the, the amount of servers. All right, and then we also have the JIT engine, which we'll get into a little later. All right, so performance has, has definitely increased. So asynchronous programming. PHP 7 is built in a way that facilitates simultaneous execution of asynchronous tasks. All right, this allows future iterations of PHP to support asynchronous programming and tasks by implementing a single PHP event loop. All right, and if you've ever used something like Node.js, um, it's pretty similar to that. And standalone multi-threading will allow PHP-based servers to handle simultaneous requests from a single memory pool. Okay, so this also really helps with performance and overall structure. We also have the implementation of the abstract syntax tree. This allows for better use of analytics and profiling. It also allows a more maintainable parser and compiler. Um, creating add-on tools will be easier using AST. Um, there's going to be minimal syntax change. Yield no longer needs parentheses. So if you look at this code here, uh, we used to have to have the parentheses around the yield. Now we don't need that any longer. And then the list function which was right to left is now left to right and is a little easier to work with. Okay, and we'll get it, we'll get into AST a little later on. So we can now indicate proper return types on functions. So we have an example here where we have a function and we're returning an array. All right, and this allows developers to set expecting strings or integers, floats, booleans or whatever um you want to have returned from a function. Okay, so that's return types. We also have a few new operators. We have the spaceship operator, which is a less than, equal than, and then a greater than. And this um, is mostly used in sorting and comparison, things like that. 
okay, which works much like the strcmp function or the version compare function. You can see an example here. Uh, this would be uh, PHP 5, and this down here would be PHP 7 using the spaceship operator. Okay, so it just cleans things up a little bit. Error handling is also different. Uh, there, there'll be very few breaks in backward compatibility, so you ha should have smooth transitioning from PHP 5 to 7. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, most, most fatal errors are now catchable, which makes things uh, a little more efficient. Exceptions will bubble up until they reach the first matching catch block, and there is a default handler that can be described and that is called set exception handler so some of the deprecated items we we now no longer use the ASP style tags which is just the the less than and the percent without using PHP uh, this one too the less than and percent and equals and then the ending ASP style tag okay these have all been removed the script tag has been removed as well, so where you would say um, script language PHP, that's been removed. Um, and the ereg extension should now use preg for um, PCRE extensions. The MySQL extension has been deprecated for a while now, so you don't want to use that any longer. You shouldn't have been using it for a while now anyways. Um, if you need to use this uh, driver, use MySQLi instead of just the MySQL extension. So some of the other features that we'll get to later on in the course, we have um, 64 uh, consistent 64 support on Windows. We now have support for strings greater than or equal to um, 2 to the power of 31, which is just outrageously huge. Uh, improved exception hierarchy, fatal errors and exceptions, um, the null coalescing operator. Return. We can now return uh, scalar type decorations, anonymous classes, and Unicode escape syntax. Okay, and there's also much more, but these are some of the things that we'll be going over. So you should also have easy migrations from PH from earlier versions of PHP to PHP 7. Uh, Up-to-date code should be easy to migrate. You want to check all your legacy code and make any necessary changes. Don't use any deprecated code as efforts have been made to remove functionality that has been deprecated in previous versions. And uh, there's very few incompatibilities, uh, but there are some and we'll discuss those later on. All right, so that is kind of an overview of some of the changes to PHP 7. We'll obviously get much more in-depth uh, in later videos. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.